Okay, I decided I'm going to make a quick video on some of the string functions that might prove useful to you. So uh, basically what I've done is I just have a basic class here called whatever. There's nothing in here yet. And so I'm going to create a variable. This is just to demonstrate some of the string and character uh, classes and methods. So I'm going to make a string called s, and I'm going to set it equal to uh, fruit is... One dollar and twenty-three cents. Okay. All right. So the first thing that we'll talk about is the length. Okay. So if I do a system dot out dot print line, and then I do s dot length. Okay. S dot length is going to return me the total length of this string. Okay. So each character is a space. So one, two, three, four, five. 6 for the space, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this should turn, return 14 because this string is 14 characters long. That 14 includes the spaces, okay? And all these decimal points and dollar sign, that, those all count as one character. So if I go ahead and run this, you will see that, sure enough, it returns 14, okay? Um, now... I want to point out another method called um, char at. Okay, so if I do system.out.println and then I'll do s.char at zero. Okay, so what char at does is it returns me the specific letter at the position that I pass in. Okay, so at position zero, the letter there is a capital F, okay? If I had done char at one, it would return zero is F, one is the R in fruit, so char at one would be the R. And in fact, let me just go here and I'll do system dot out dot print line s dot char at one. And maybe for good measure, we'll do uh, char at Instead of char at two, let's do char at three so we can. Okay, so if I run this, you'll see that it prints F, R for zero and one. If I had done char at two, it would have printed out the U, but I did char at three instead, so it printed out the I. So that's why we have the F, R, I. Okay, so that's what char at does. And then lastly, um, there is a static method in the character class. Well, there's several static methods, but we have uh, character dot is digit. Okay, and then we would pass in a character, and we have uh, character dot is uh, letter. Okay. And there are a number of other ones. There's character dot is uppercase, character dot is lowercase, stuff like that. So, for example, what I could do is I could do a system dot out dot print line um, character dot is digit, and then I could pass in the character zero. Okay. Or I could do character dot is digit, and this time I'll use like the letter A, okay? And so we'll see that if I compile and run this, all right, character is digit zero, that's true, okay? And character dot is digit A, that's false because A is not a digit, okay? So I can now combine the character dot is digit with the S dot char at, okay? And I can do things like this. I can say system dot out dot print line character dot is digit. And then instead of the character zero, I'll do S dot char at zero, okay? So what that's saying is, um, this is saying, all right, so take that string, fruit is $1.23, get the character at zero, which is this capital F, okay? 
And then is that capital F, which is what this S dot char at zero resolves to. So is that capital F a digit? Okay, so this last statement here should return false because F is not a digit. Okay, so if I compile and run this, sure enough, it prints out false here at the end because s dot char at zero is not a digit. Okay. Um, now, what would happen if I did, I'm going to copy this, and instead of s dot char at zero, I'm going to do s dot char at zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we'll do s dot char at ten. All right, the character at position 10 should be this number one in the dollar 23. So if I compile and run this, then sure enough, it prints out that it's true, okay? So you can use these functions inside of loops too, all right? So I could do something like this and I could do four int i equals zero. i is less than s dot length. Okay, there's the string length function. i plus plus. And then I could do something like this. I could do um, if, well, actually I'll just do this. System dot out dot print line. Uh, character dot is digit s dot char at i okay so in other words it's going to loop through the string and for each character in the string it's going to print out whether it's a digit or not okay so what this should do and let me comment out um, some of these here so that we don't make a big mess Um, what we should see is we should see, based on what we've done here, we should see false, 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 true, false, true, true. So there should be some trues towards the end because I only have three digits in my string, the, the one, the two, and the three. Okay, so if I compile this and run it, you will see, sure enough, I get a whole bunch of falses. False, 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 false. And then I have the true where the one is, a false because of the period, and then a true, true where the two and the three are. Okay, so that's how you can use the s dot char at and the character classes. And of course, instead of character dot is digit, I could have used is letter. Um, you can refer to the lecture notes to see all of the different uh, functions that are available or just Google it.